Hello and welcome to stage 5 of the Brabham Royale. This time we are at Laguna Seca. And our first event here, we are facing Magnus. And it's a hunter event. So, shouldn't be too much of a challenge, I don't think. Magnus's distance doesn't seem too crazy. But I don't know how much of a lead Sylvia's going to get on us here. And I sped that up a little bit, as you could probably tell. Now... This is my first try at this track on this car. I really don't know the greatest braking points yet. So I'm just gonna kinda go off what I've used in the past for a car similar to this. And that was too early. Now in some cars, well you pretty well always have to brake for this corner. In some cars, you don't have to brake for the next one. I'm not gonna push that yet. I was over braking again though in the other corner. Coming up here, this shade across the track, that's usually a pretty good braking point. And then this corner, in some cars, you can take this flat out full throttle. Not sure about this one, I'm gonna brake a bit. Now, that's pretty good. This is the corkscrew. This is my favorite jumping spot in the whole game. I'll show you what I mean. There's a picture and there's a video link. You can stage ridiculous jump shots there. And in some cars, you can actually take a clean jump and I've got videos of both. Okay, it said not to get damaged, so I avoided Sylvia. And at this point, I'm actually getting worried whether I'm gonna finish this or not. Nothing about off track, but then I forgot Sylvia's gonna be braking, so nail the brakes. I don't want a huge lead. That's bigger than I wanted, but I don't wanna go back and redo it. So I'm just gonna move on. There we go. Easy event. And oh yes, so that means that Ahmed repaired his wheel. And here we are at race number two. First person to first place out of the two of us wins. Now, that would be us and Magnus, of course, because there's lots of other cars here. I did this one a few times before I realized, my goodness, Magnus is fast. He is ridiculously fast in this race. Shockingly fast. So, you're gonna have to push it really hard if you've just got our upgrades like I do. So, like, if you don't take that fast enough, I did fly off the ground there. And this car is amazing right here. Very little braking. Now, unfortunately, this Aston Martin's perfectly in my line, so I'm just going to cut. Cut across the desert sand. You don't necessarily have to do that. In another attempt I had on this, I did not cut across the desert there, and I was fine. But this time I am. I took several attempts at this race because I was trying different strategies. So... Magnus is extremely fast, capable of being in the lead at the end of this lap. So you got to really push it. And as you can see, I'm pushing it a lot harder now. I'm, I've dialed in my points. There's going to be a gaggle of cars coming up ahead here. I love this corner in race cars like this. You can blast through it so fast, and bots do not do very well there. I'm cutting across the sand again, and in that, I passed Magnus. He is in a Senna GTR, and he's definitely fully upgraded. It's actually really crazy, which you're going to find out here. And then all these other guys, they're driving incredibly slow. Like, that Club Sport was just beating us like crazy the other day when Norm was driving it. Here we've got FXXK Evos driving at a snail's pace. So I'm not, I don't want to get too ahead of this, but then suddenly, boom, suddenly there's Magnus. Like, what? He caught up fast. So I definitely don't want him to be in the lead. So here's where we get to alternative strategies. I originally wanted to drag this race out to the very end to try to maximize my bot management. But my goodness, Magnus is fast. I mean, you look at me getting around this guy and I keep, I keep taking a look in the mirror. Where's Magnus? Where's Magnus? Because he can, he'll drive up on you extremely fast. See, look at this. Look how fast he is. So I'm trying to set up a pit maneuver here. It says no damage. The way you do a pit maneuver when it says no damage is you have to get off the gas as you're turning the car. I couldn't turn him because a Senna GTR has ridiculous grip. It is very hard to pit a car that has higher grip than you. So now I'm just trying not to fail. So I'm going to shoot the corkscrew. Not too crazy. I don't want to hit the walls. And that's it. I, I don't want to keep doing this dance. So I just decided, you know what? I think I could stay ahead of him. Yeah, I could stay ahead of him. I could have dragged this out another few laps, but then I blew it here, and I thought, man, I don't want to keep doing this. I'm just going to keep the lead really small 
but end it here. And I think that's okay. We're gonna find out, I guess. We're gonna see if that was a bad decision or not, if this event gets a lot harder for me, but I don't think that was a bad decision. It didn't even log the times, so I don't think that's a bad decision. Looks like a longer race. All right, so we've got to go five minutes and 50 seconds, do five full laps and not run out of fuel. Now, don't be too intimidated by this. First thing you're gonna see is that Magnus is not that far behind, okay? I'm just gonna tell you right now, the Magnus in this race is not the same as the Magnus you faced in the other race. One other thing, you're already down about a quarter tank when the race actually started. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here you can see 9.77 as I'm crossing the line. So you gotta be careful, it's not a full 10 units of fuel. Now here I wasn't personally sure how fast Magnus was, so I wasn't taking it too slow, but I'll tell you this Magnus is slower. Okay, another very important tip, don't use tilt A controls. With tilt A you can't coast. Choose an option where you can coast, where you've got a gas pedal and brakes any auto accelerator type of a settings, and you will not be, oh, good grief. I just lost a lot of momentum. I wanna cut the corkscrew for momentum. Okay, I wanted to save fuel by doing that. Back to what I was saying, if you use any control options that have automatic accelerator, there's no way you're gonna finish this. I don't even think you would if you fully upgraded. So you gotta use some manual accelerator. Now, I'm gonna skip ahead here a little bit because it's a lot of just the same thing. Here you can see I'm pretty low on fuel, so I'm lifting off a lot earlier. I'm showing you this is my second last lap. I'm gonna show you this whole lap so you can see how early I'm lifting, how much I'm coasting, and look at the lead I've got on Magnus. Now there's several things you have to worry about. You've got to make it within the amount of time, and you've gotta make it with that amount of fuel, and you've gotta make it a full five laps. So you can take it really easy. Um, I wasn't doing this much lifting in, on laps four and uh, laps three and four, but not too much more in the throttle here. So doing a lot more coasting. I, ideally, you'd like to have two units of fuel per lap. Well, I'm certainly not going to have that. And I kept shooting the corkscrew every single time and uh, just coasting my way through it, not hitting the walls anymore. That was a huge loss of momentum. But uh, five minutes and 50 seconds means one minute 10 per lap. As you can see, I'm, no, I'm in no danger of time. So I've been taking it easy. I'm still at R upgrades. Uh, not a lot of fuel, so I'm going to be lifting extremely early. Again, you can't be using any auto accelerator settings or you will never finish this stage. I don't even think you would if you were fully upgraded. So just bear that in mind. And otherwise, you can see I've got a huge lead on Magnus, even though I've been lifting all the time. That is nowhere near the lion that we saw behind us before. Uh, lion of Leipzig. And I'm sorry to my German friends if I wasn't saying that properly. Uh, Leipzig, is that better, Leipzig? It's an old event that we had in this game, the uh, Lions of Leipzig. And that is at uh, Porsche Test Track. That's where Porsche tr Test Track is located. Now, I took that easier because I was going so slow. I am so nervous at my amount of fuel, and I'm letting Magnus catch up, and I'm looking at my time. I'm scared on every single level right now. But, rounding a corner, doing okay, so I'm gonna floor it, and then I'm gonna let it coast, and I'm right at the line, so now I'm okay, but the race doesn't end, so I should be good. Woo, I'm good. There you go. So you can take it easy as long as you don't try to use an auto accelerator setting. Don't do that. There you go. Not that bad of a stage, really. Race number four. Now this one is a time trial, basically. Not really, but basically is. And I'm not drunk. I swear it, that wasn't me. That's the AI. It really threw me off. Okay, first thing it said is no off track. What does that mean? Literal? Definitely literal. Do not go off track for even a fraction of a second. And don't worry too much about that huge slide. Just drive it. Magnus is behind us and he's going to stay there. You basically have a clear track. You just need to drive it. So I'm still braking a little bit earlier than I need to, but that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. 
This one you can brake pretty deep. I've got two tires off track, which will actually increase braking distance. Didn't matter. I'm doing a very tiny braking point there still. I think I could optimize it. Here I'm basically going with the shade into the throttle by the midpoint of the corner. And I will brake again just a tiny bit here. Very little. Now, got to be careful at the corkscrew because I haven't been practicing my braking points here very much. So I'm going to have to, you can tell, uh, that's the downside of shooting the corkscrew every time. I was braking a bit late. Also, I had two tires way off track. But here, you can just fly through this. I mean, I'm loving it. I used to hate this track, and I love this track now. And looking at my time, by the way, that, you can go way over onto the green and you're not off track. I'm slowing down. I've got time to spare. Not really that hard of a stage. I could have slowed down more, but I'm happy with that. I don't want to fail it and redo it. That was a nice run. And there you go. Uh, I haven't shown you my upgrades yet today. That's because I didn't add any. There you go. All ones, still all ones. That's the end of stage five. Thank you for joining me for that one. If you missed the other stages, here's a playlist. You can see all of the stages there. And so far, this has been a nice event. I'm loving this car. I'm expecting we're going to have to add some upgrades in the next day or two, but who knows? We'll see what happens. Anyhow, I've parked my Brabham for the night and I'm off to do some other races. Talk to you tomorrow.